Joining me from here in Washington is Jeff Moon. He's the president of China Moon Strategies. Jeff, uh, first your thoughts so far. This first session in Alaska lasted a bit longer than expected. Um, how are you reading uh, the atmosphere, the tone, and, and what you're hearing so far? Well, the initial press reports from the meeting suggest that it's very contentious. There was one report that referenced an undiplomatic war of words. Um, and the reason that it went long was apparently that the period, which was supposed to be short in front of cameras, went much longer. And uh, there was grandstanding, according to some of the press reports. So I'm not sure what to read in the, into that. I think that up until now, up until this first meeting, where they're meeting face to face, I have felt that a lot of the statements were really intended for domestic audiences and that it would be good for them to talk face to face for once and to validate their views. Um, but it appears that that kind of grandstanding is, is still going on. I hope that doesn't prejudice the rest of the talks because these are extremely important discussions. From the U.S. perspective, this is the next step in the methodical rollout of the China strategy for the United States. Um, President Biden said at first he wants to look at domestic issues. He then wants to talk to allies. And then he talked to President Xi on the phone on February 20th. And now they're meeting face to face to review the issues. And in the meantime, there is a practical factor that's very important. And that is there is an all of government review of China policy that is not expected to be completed for, for many weeks. So my expectations are fairly low for this uh, particular meeting because I think that the purpose is to just outline views, make sure that everyone clearly understands the other side, and that there are no misunderstandings, which is important because it's been a long time, as your reporter mentioned, since they actually talked to each other about something other than phase one and purchases. Right. I mean, uh, there's so much uh, where these two countries are intertwined. They have to talk. Are you optimistic we'll see any progress, even a little on issues like trade, or at least a discussion on tariffs being li lifted? I think that there are several categories of issues. There are some issues where we're already talking. John Kerry and Xia Jinhua are already talking about climate change. So that's going to continue, and we could hear something about that. There are some issues where progress maybe is feasible, like people-to-people -people exchanges. But I'm not sure if that would happen without the completion of the U.S. trade review or overall policy review. As for trade, I really don't expect anything because, as you just reported, the new U.S. trade representative just got confirmed and was sworn in probably just a few hours ago. Um, and I doubt that any steps would be taken without her being on board and a part of the team. And then there are some other issues. Clearly, uh, you know, Hong Kong was discussed in the preceding report. I, I don't expect any progress um, ever on that issue, but, um, but th that raises sensitive issues on both sides that will continue to be discussed. Uh, you mentioned Catherine Tai. She's uh, just in, in uh, the U.S. Trade Representative's office. There's still no U.S. ambassador to China. Uh, we know this is a very important position. Uh, is that significant at all, given the nature of this relationship that a person hasn't been named yet? I think that it's important that we get an ambassador there, but that the relationship can be managed without the ambassador in place. You have very capable career officials that are in place in Beijing, and the cabinet is filling up very quickly back here in Washington, so that the Washington leadership um, is being staffed uh, quite quickly. And not only are they being staffed quickly, but these are all people who are very experienced, are serving in the, in the same part of the bureaucracy, maybe a rung or two higher than they served before, and they have been following the issues and do not need to spend a year or two reading into their job before they can get started. So, so I, I think we can move forward, and I'm looking forward to what comes out of that review.